Good morning. Let me welcome you on behalf of WorkSource Atlanta Regional to our first Mississippi Employer webinar featuring Kroger Delivery in Kroger Park. We have uh, lots of exciting information for you today, so let's get started. Uh, first off, we will bring on Larry Vincent with uh, Clayton Economic Development. <coughs> I think well, you're one of my top employers and uh, someone that my family is very intimate with, and that's one of the places we shop. And we're very excited about Kroger's and what they bring to our county. Very excited about the partnerships that help set this up. So, welcome, everyone. Thank you, Larry. Uh, so, next we have uh, Bruce Abraham with the uh, City of Forest Park. Bruce? Hello, everybody. And Thanks for joining us today. We, uh, we're glad you're here and we, we encourage you to look at these jobs and, and apply for them with Kroger. Kroger is, has been in Forest Park for quite a while and we've worked with them to uh, bring these jobs here and we appreciate you being on the webinar today. Uh, I'd like to, to thank uh, uh, the ARC particularly for this. Uh, they uh, work source Georgia for organizing this as well as uh, uh, Kroger for for supporting this kind of a new way of, of introducing folks to jobs, as well as the city and all the folks involved in this to, that made this happen. We were very fortunate to be able to build a road uh, to enable these new vans and things to get in and out of the area where Kroger is. So, so we want to know everybody that we appreciate you and uh, and uh, we'd love to welcome you to a new job in Forest Park. Thank you, Larry. Thank you very much. Uh, just a few housekeeping uh, items uh, for all of the attendees. Uh, while the presentation is going on, it will be in listen-only mode. At any time, you can type your questions in the chat box, and uh, we will uh, cover all questions at the uh, end of the um, presentation. Uh, we do uh, welcome all questions, uh, just anything you would like to know about uh, any of the comments by any of the uh, presenters, and we'll address those after. So let's see. Okay. Uh, so next, we will uh, have a Overview of our uh, services at our career center. Um, we provide all of these services under what's called the uh, Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act. And uh, under the workforce system, we operate uh, career centers in each of the counties that we operate in. And Clayton County, we have our comprehensive center for uh, uh, job seekers and where employers can also host events. So to cover that in further detail, we have uh, Christine Grigsby who runs that whole um, career center network uh, for us, for Source Atlanta Regional. Christine? Hi there, thank you so much. Uh, so one of the things that, that we are of course funded through WIOA and we do several things. We help with training, but we also help uh, particularly when we have a, a new uh, company coming into our community. We like to help with uh, anybody that might be wanting to get more information, maybe to find out what jobs are available. Uh, we assist with that. We have computers available and we provide any technical assistance that anybody might need. Um, at this point, due to the pandemic, we are by appointment only. However, you can call and make an appointment and um, there are plenty of appointments available. We, we have not had a, an issue with, um, with people with it being too crowded at the center. Uh, so not only do we help with uh, job assistance, but we can also help with retraining if that's something that, uh, that you're looking to do. Um, basically any community resources are also available. We, we help everyone with anything else that they might need in the community. Uh, we do keep abreast of everything else that, that is going on and, and maybe other organizations that might be able to provide assistance with other issues that, that could be at hand. We do also um, have employer events that we like to keep everybody uh, uh, up to date on. So uh, once you call us and talk to us a little bit about uh, what it is that you're looking to do, we can certainly also uh, keep you on our mailing list so that you will always be 
uh, you will always know what's going on and we will let you know when we have things such as this webinar. This is our website, www.atlworks.org. And as a job seeker, you'll just click on the arrow and uh, send us an inquiry and give us uh, kind of an idea of what it is that you're looking to do and we get in touch right away in order to help you out or as an employer. We will also get in touch with you right away and see how it is that we can partner to help with any hiring needs. Uh, we also uh, do have some extra services available for anybody that's COVID impacted. Uh, let's see. And again, for more information, our number is 678-271-3554. And that is to ask any questions, anything else that, that maybe I haven't mentioned that you're interested in. Um, you can call that number and we will talk to you more. Uh, again, the website is www.atlworks.org and you can get started that way. And then we also have an email here provided if you are interested in the employer events or the job fairs, whether you are a job seeker or a, an employer that is looking to, to hire. And I think that's it for me. Okay. Thank you well, so much. Th thank you so much as well, Christine. And we really encourage uh, all of our uh, attendees and, and job seekers to um, go on and visit the uh, ATL worksite and uh, sign up for services. Uh, it's a, and also tell your friends, uh, there are great many services that can help you uh, get directly into employment or uh, seek out further training. So um, thank you again, Christine. And now we will move on to our uh, presentation um, by Kroger Delivery. That's the, the main purpose for today. And uh, for that, uh, we are going to go to uh, Sean Walker with our Kroger Delivery, and he's going to tell you all about these exciting opportunities. Hello, everyone, and good morning. So I'm here to talk to you today about Kroger Delivery coming to Forest Park. You probably heard a little bit, but I have a little bit more to share. And the agenda here, as you see on the screen, we'll go through a welcome. This is my welcome here. We'll do some team introductions, uh, not too much on the, on screen, but you'll hear from me and some of the folks that you'll probably be speaking to when we reach out in your area. I'll give you a quick overview of what Kroger Delivery is, and then we'll talk about some key roles. So, first, it keeps moving. There we go. All right, can you guys see my screen that says just my site, just me on there? Keeps moving. Looks like we're seeing your desktop. There we go, sourcing. There we are, all right. Yes. So, for me, I'm my, my name's John, I'm the Sourcing Strategy Manager. And what that means is that I partner with a group of field recruiters that are on the ground and we talk about always getting out in the community and making sure that everybody knows about the opportunities that are available with Kroger. You guys are familiar with Kroger as it stands right now, as it's a grocery store and, or that, you know, there's, there are some manufacturing plants that are around there. Absolutely. But there's so much more to what Kroger's bringing to life there. I, um, I have two daughters, uh, by my life. Um, but, to, to, to folks in the community, it's important that you understand that my daughters, uh, they, they, they will also work for Kroger because I fully am behind all the diversity, the honesty, integrity, respect, and safety and inclusion that Kroger stands for, and that's part of our core values. We're a big fan of making sure our presence is known in the community and all the opportunities that are available, and just so happens that we have jobs as well but in efforts to support our zero hunger and zero waste initiatives, that means that we will be completely waste free by the year 2025. Right. We're gonna take care of all of that through helping those through food insecurities, maybe joblessness. This is our way of, getting, of giving back. And all of this one team, one dream through those community partnerships. So now I've talked to you about the team and who's gonna reach out to you, but you're probably wondering why are they gonna reach out to you? Uh, well, uh, next coming up, there's a video that I'd like to show you that talks a little bit more and shows you why we're talking more today. So, actually, the video will run and then I'll come back. 
All right. For the past year, companies like Instacart, Fresh Direct, yeah. and Amazon bring so, supplies right to your front door. Even traditional grocery chains stepped up their services. Monthly grocery delivery sales increased 380% from half a billion dollars before the pandemic to 2.4 billion in May. To keep up with the exploding demand, Kroger, the nation's largest grocery chain, is building high-tech fulfillment centers across the country, like this one here in Ohio. And for the very first time, our cameras are getting exclusive access to show you how they're changing the way we shop for groceries. The facility is called The Hive, and General Manager Matthew Davis showed us what's behind closed doors. Welcome to The Hive. Wow, this is incredible. Inside, 800 robots zip around this grid, packing up 20,000 online orders daily, delivery to anyone within a 90-mile radius. So I see them up on this level, but where are they being filled? What you don't see underneath is stacked all the way from the floor to the ceiling are 21 levels of, of totes. In those totes are products ranging from bread, apples, diapers, anything that you could want. The robots can pick and pack a family's entire order in five to ten minutes. Everything that you would do walking up a grocery store, all of that is, is being maintained and in, in happening through these bots. It's not just bots doing the work. About 400 humans are involved in the process as well. Once the bots pick out the groceries, the order gets dropped down a chute to an associate. This is Lindsay, and she's packing the order. Then the items roll down a conveyor belt where more humans are waiting to sort them for delivery. Outside, a fleet of trucks awaits the orders. Frozen and refrigerated items loaded first into the special cold compartment, followed by the rest. Finally, the driver heads out to deliver each order, including ours, to the house we rented. Hi, delivered by Kroger for the white residents? That's me. Right now, the delivery fee is $10, but Kroger says no tips are expected. Thank you so much. It's not just robots. Kroger has launched a drone delivery service for customers within a one-mile radius of this store near Dayton, Ohio. And right now, customers in that delivery area can go to this website and order a specialized bundle to be delivered right to their yard. Offerings include a headache bundle with pain medication and a sports drink, s'mores with graham crackers, marshmallows, and chocolate, and movie night with popcorn, soft drinks, and candy. For now, deliveries are free. All right, I'm going to try it with the cupcake bundle. It comes with unsalted butter, vanilla frosting, and some funfetti cupcake mix. Boom, done. Sounds good. At the store, an employee gathers my items and packages them in this box, specially designed for the drone. The weight limit? Five pounds. Then it's off to the sky, navigated by a pilot. There it is. Wow, it is massive. It's here. This is amazing. It hovers over the yard and... Bye. The frosting. I inspect my order. My cupcake mix. And my butter. Still cold. From the early, active stages of drone delivery to this high-tech, high-speed fulfillment center, the future of grocery delivery has arrived. Same. Wow. Very cool. Very futuristic, right? Currently, Kroger has two operational hives, the one we showed you in Ohio, plus another one near Orlando in Florida. They have plans for six more across the country, including one in Atlanta that opens later this year. And you can expect drone delivery in a second location in California. Kroger has not said exactly which city or when just yeah. So many questions. Yeah. So, I'll do my best. First of all, any limitations on the, the drone delivery? Yes. So there are a few right now. The FAA is actually limiting them to one mile flights and five pound packages. Yeah. Drone Express, that's the company that operates the drone, they say that it is capable of flying a lot further with up to 15 pound packages. And their goal right now is just to prove they can do it safely, and then they want to expand. They can't fly right now at night or in bad weather. It's about four yeah. cases of beer, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be a bigger drone. Yeah. 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 I mean, Kroger's doing it now. I'm going to see this just a matter of time before. Yeah. Everybody Everybody catches up. That's yeah. amazing. It's, it's incredible. The technology is unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. I'm it's, conflicted. I actually like going through the market I today for people who are having you know crunch time and family yeah. i like walking through i like seeing the fresh fish i like seeing a little yeah. deli. am i gonna get some for dinner tonight yeah. what's available oh look at the cheeses like i like yeah. the experience yeah. i agree i love going to the grocery store it's therapeutic for me but i will say there's a new generation i mean people don't even use cash anymore Carl. right there's kids who don't even what, like coins what are these yeah. they're, they're so used to everything's like touchless or through the phone so yeah. it, i don't like all that either yeah I, 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 Old school. We'll Where's our flying cars? That's yeah. what I want to know. It's really cool, though. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, 
as you can see from the video, uh, there's a lot that's going on um, around the way of modern technology as Kroger brings the store to your neighbor's door through Kroger delivery. Now, I wanted to spend some time and talk about some key roles that are going to be provided. First, there is the Fulfillment Center Associate and the Personal Shopper. The Fulfillment Center Associate, the Personal Shopper, is what they're actually working in the warehouse. You saw in there that they're basically standing stationary in some, uh, in, in some of the shots, but there are three aspects to this position. To, to discuss. Number one is dispatch. They would assist in the loading and moving uh, process of customers order throughout the fulfillment center. Outbound, which be to which would be to pick and pack the customer's orders. And then inbound. Inbound would receive and transfer goods from the supplier into totes. So inbound, just think about that as like the back dock of a, a regular traditional grocery store. Some of the minimum position requirements are listed here. Really looking for someone um, that is flexible, um, can, can work with our schedule changes, but also enjoys being around new technology or does uh, or likes to learn new things. The job is uh, very, very, very uh, easy to learn due to the investments in technology that have been made. We've actually um, are partnering with some self-paced learning that'll be launched in the site the beginning of next year, but also handheld cards to assist. We make sure that everyone knows their job. You also receive on-the-job training prior to starting. Best thing about this is that there's no previous um, experience required to learn the job. It is desired, but it's not required, meaning that we can help anybody get to, the, to this great opportunity. The next role that I wanted to discuss is the customer service delivery driver role. The customer service delivery driver, driver role is imperative to the success of this role. You've seen that Kroger, you have the ability to have Kroger deliver groceries to your home right now. Maybe through our partnership with Instacart, as you saw outlined in the video. However, what we wanna do is take over this entire process around that last mile to really ensure that the same experience that you saw in the video of those talking about, I like going to the grocery store. I like the friendly interaction, that that's not lost when, just because someone simply de de decides to have their groceries delivered. The, the, ver the most important thing <laughs> with this customer service delivery role is going to be friendliness. We need you to be friendly. We, we, we need you to have a nice, pleasant disposition. We can teach you how to drive. We can't teach a friendly attitude and a friendly disposition. And that's really what we're looking for here. You must have a valid driver's license. We're looking for those good uh, customer service skills and excellent communication. We a driving record because we do do an MVR check. The ability to lift up to 30 pounds with or without reasonable accommodation. And you have to be at least 21 years old. That's it. No CDLs, no special certifications. All you have to do is pass a DOT physical, um, have a clean record for, or at least pass the MBR for the past three years and be at least 21 years of age with a valid driver's license. And that's it. So I uh, wanted to provide that, uh, that overview. So those of you out there might be asking, well, what's, what's in it for me? Uh, tons of things. Kroger is known for what they give their associates and not, not only by way of opportunities for employment, but also benefits. After the first 90 days, you, you even start getting paid time off. We're talking medical, dental, vision, tuition reimbursement, uh, stock purchase programs, 401ks, all of that's there for you. After a year of employment, uh, you have the ability to enter into long-term disability, 401k match from the company up to 5%, and then the discounts. So the discounts that we give our associates on just groceries alone would save you hundreds of dollars a year because you do get a 10% off all Kroger brands. That also extends out to our vendor partnerships to allow you discounts of up to 40% on streaming services, appliances, electronics, all of those things. 
all with being an employee of the Kroger company or the Kroger family of companies. The important thing that we that 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 I want to stress in this meeting uh, with everybody out there, whether you're working for an organ for an organization, whether you're out there seeking employment and truly going after those jobs, we're in the market that we have to that everyone has to separate applicants from candidates. If you're serious about landing a job, you got to show up as a candidate. What do I mean by that? Anybody with an email address can be an applicant. But when we're talking about being a candidate, we're talking about finding those folks with the right talent to fit in here. And I encourage you, whether you're working with a, a, an, an agency, whether you heard about this from someone else, whether you're running that agency, what's important to get out there is that applicants are not necessarily candidates. And what can we do on both sides to ensure that everyone that is an applicant gets a fair shake as a candidate? One more piece of information that I'd like to share. Your local HR site team. Uh, Tanya Brodnix is there. She is on site at Forest Park. Um, if you want to hear more, please reach out to her um, about some awesome opportunities or follow up on some of the great flyers that we have out there. We'll have yard signs. I believe we just had some banners delivered. Uh, we have flyers and brochures. All of that's there for you. Um, so, Tanya and her local HR site team can answer any local questions as we get closer to the opening of the site. At this point, I'd like to make sure that we're good on time and move on to make sure that I have a chance to address any questions that are out there. Okay. So what yeah. questions are there? Okay, we're going to ask uh, everyone to enter questions into the chat. And as of now, I'm not uh, seeing. Can everyone hear me? All right. I tell you what, uh, Sean. While we're waiting for those questions, uh, when will hiring start? That's a fantastic question. Hiring has actually started. You can look right now on Indeed um, and search the word delivery. Also, you can go to jobs.kroger.com. Again, that's jobs.kroger.com. And in the top right, you'll see a drop down for Teams. And under that, you'll look under Kroger Delivery, or you can simply type in Forest Park and search by location, and you'll see all of the fulfillment opportunities that are there. Not only are those are, are the roles that I have mentioned already listed there for personal shoppers, uh, fulfillment center associates, and customer service delivery drivers, but there are also some other opportunities. So I encourage everyone on the call to go to jobs.kroger.com and take a look at those opportunities for yourself. Sean, this is this is Lucius from Atlanta. Hey, Lucius. I have some questions that were sent in. One of the questions is. Is the customer service delivery driver position flexible as far as hours are concerned? Very much so. Um, I would say that the flexibility starts after the first week of training. Um, however, uh, we have in, in multiple, you know, it said in the video that, that we've opened up several of these sites before. And I can tell you that as long as you are being transparent, upfront and honest with the HR site team around your availability, will make it work. Um, however, when it comes to the actual delivery hours, it really depends on the response from the customers in the area. I mean, I would love to say that everybody got off at two, but if the customers need a delivery at four, of course, we're gonna be there to support. So yes, um, as, as we see more of the business pick up as well, um, we'll be able to give more guidance around those hours that are available, but we do need to remain flexible. So yes, flexible options will be available. Okay. Another question, Sean, was if a person has been in an accident in the past three years, or maybe even gotten a, a moving violation, would that disqualify that person from the customer service driver position? That is an excellent question. And without, without being paid my legal consultative fees for each case, I wouldn't be able to go in particulars. But I will say this, Lucius, um, for those that are um, thinking about applying, um, you should. 
um, we, we, we don't believe that anything is a waste of time because there's other opportunity that could be available. Just because you can't do the customer service delivery driver role doesn't mean that you can't come in as a, as a fulfillment center associate, learn the business a little bit more. And depending on the severity of that violation, maybe it comes through, maybe it doesn't, but at least don't miss out on the opportunity to be in this exciting line of business because it is only going to go up. So I would say, you know, that's a that's a yes, but a no answer. Uh, but without, like, uh, like I said, without specifics, I wouldn't be able to advise either way. I would say if you're interested, you should apply and we'll find a space and opportunity for you. Okay, and I have a couple more. I'm going to combine this. Uh, one was the training hours and starting pay. What, what are the training hours and what would the starting pay and is paid training offered? Excellent questions, excellent questions. Yes, there is paid training and, and depending on the positions by which you come in, um, I don't have the actual position wage F for the driver because I believe we are not hiring for driver yet. However, for the fulfillment center associate, pay starts at 1570. Um, that is the starting rate. And that's that that is paid throughout training. Training would be a week long um, on, on, on the roll. And then depending on really where we're at with the business, training could look a little bit different. Like early folks, you're going to learn maybe uh, some uh, maybe uh, some aspects of the job. But as business starts and comes in, then you would be able to maybe learn other lines of business. Driver pay actually is seventeen dollars and seventy five cents an hour. That uh, th that training period is a little bit longer because there is uh, safety training um, that needs to take place. Again, still paid for all of that training but it does look a little bit different. These are fantastic questions. I'm so glad to hear all of this interest. Um, and the more the, the, the more that the business gets off the ground, uh, the, the more employees we get in, the more defined these, these answers can get. But right now we're just encouraging anybody that has a general interest in the job to apply and have a talk with those. That's really why I introduced those at the top of the call, because those, I want everyone to feel comfortable with reaching out to them and asking any of these questions that you have, because they will be able to go into more in-depth conversations about your personal situation. So I would say, go ahead and apply. There, these, these folks that I introduced you to at the top of my session are willing and eager to help. They also have worked this process several times through, so they're more than able to assist. What else is out there though? That is it as of now, Sean. That is all that has came across the chat box right. that, that, I, that I can see. Well, yeah. Uh, so, Sean, this is Henry. Uh, Henry. If, if, if possible, would you pull back up your slides of your uh, team that uh, we didn't see them on the slides earlier, the people that you introduced? And you sure. see that uh, applicants reach back out to them. Can you, since we have a little extra time, would you want to back up again? Sure. And Sean, I have one question that just came through as we said that, and I think you've already answered it, but you may want to, they wanted to know, is hiring immediately? Are you all hiring immediately? I don't, I don't know if that's on the spot or in the first five days. So this is, this is a great question. And I would like to talk a little bit more about how this works and how our process uh, actually comes to fruition. The way that it works is once, once you respond, uh, to the, 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 the job posting, one of the field recruiters uh, will reach out to you. When those field recruiters reach out to you, they're going to talk to you about the position, they're gonna set up a time for you to come in, and they're actually going to offer you a role over the phone should you meet the criteria. And yes, as soon as you're able to start, we're gonna wanna get you in for orientation and get you started as soon as possible. So yes, it is hiring, it is on the spot. We would call, reach out to you, have that discussion, and then finalize your paperwork when you come in so we can get the legal documents all taken care of, you know, so we can start you on payroll and everything. But if the field recruiters reach out to you and have a conversation around employment, that if, if, if you meet the criteria, they're gonna offer you a position on the spot and then set up time for you to follow up and finalize your paperwork when you come in, uh, actually on site. I hope that helps to answer the question. It also sheds a little bit more light on the process. Very interesting, it does, it does. Mm -hmm. 
And yes, you want to uh, introduce your team again, and we would suggest uh, any participants, if you still have questions, go on and put them into the chat. Yes, please. This is Brandon. Brandon is a corp, uh, corporate sourcing specialist. He's the one that's going to put a lot of the um, material on brand assets out on social media. So if you're seeing anything on usually on Facebook, LinkedIn, Indeed, any of those other social channels, it's probably something that Brandon's had his hands on. Allie Newton will be a field recruiter. She's actually uh, heading up the team for the Forest Park, Georgia site. Um, so Allie, very familiar with the Atlanta area as she was placed there prior with a full cycle recruiting assignment. She's uh, phenomenal, actually. Um, but Allie Newton would be another person that will be reaching out to you. Another person that you could hear from was going to be Corbin. Corbin uh, recently moved into a new house. Uh, Corbin, uh, ask him about his porch. I'm going to never leave that alone. Ask him about his porch. Uh, but Corbin is one of the field recruiters that could be reaching out to you. Next is Becca. Um, Becca has been with the company for over 20 years. Uh, I wanted to say 23, but I don't want to lie on her. I believe it's 23. It actually might even be more. Uh, but uh, she is our resident benefits guru. Um, if, if you have some questions that the field recruiters might not know the answer to, which is highly unlikely, Becca definitely knows the answer to those questions. There's also Sydney. Uh, Sydney's a huge Bulldogs fan, as you can see there. Uh, go dogs. Uh, it, you, you, you could hear from Sydney. Uh, re regarding employment. And last but not least, there's Luis. Uh, Luis um, has um, uh, experience prior with uh, some other large um, companies, Rallies, Amazon, Sprouts. Um, really, um, we, you, you, you'll hear from Luis as well around some job opportunities. He uh, heavily supports our Florida sites as well. Um, so he's very familiar with that area. No other questions came through? Any other questions I can help answer for the group? No, as of now, Sean, we don't have any additional questions. Okay, well, great. That was a great presentation, uh, Sean. I think you uh, answered, um, provided a lot of the um, answers in advance. Uh, since we do have some extra time, uh, we are going to run a video on uh, additional available services from our career center. And if Sean, if you can stay on for a while while that's going on, in case anybody else wants to uh, enter a question into the chat. Um, so otherwise, Richard, would you go on and run that video, please? Your dream job is calling. We're here to help you find it. Finding the right job or career can be difficult and stressful. WorkSource is here to make it easy. Our personalized step-by-step -step process provides job seekers like you with the support and resources needed to get a great job. Our career resource centers offer all the equipment you need for things like printing and sharing resumes and cover letters, as well as quiet places to make those important calls. You'll participate in job readiness workshops where you'll learn how to market yourself. An advisor will help guide you to find the right career move. And you'll have support from the entire WorkSource team throughout the whole process. Let's say you're looking for a career as a medical technician. You may need money for training, supplies, and assistance for childcare and transportation. WorkSource is here to help. Or you may want to become a driver. You'll need to learn to drive a big rig and get your commercial driver's license. Georgia has many occupations that need great workers, and WorkSource's dedicated career counselors can help you find the one that's right for you. The bottom line is that our first priority is your success. WorkSource was designed to assess your skills, help with training, and find a job that fits you. All at no cost to you. WorkSource is a federally funded program. WorkSource the help you need to get the job you want. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Yeah, thank you so much for that uh, additional information on uh, all of the service, wonderful services available at our career centers. Uh, and again, uh, to job seekers, uh, any of the uh, participants, we urge you to uh, really go on and visit the Career Center, get registered, get signed up. You'll get so much great information about uh, all kinds of our services and opportunities. So uh, we really recommend that you do that and tell your friends who are looking for great opportunities as well, because they are quite abundant uh, throughout the metro area. So I would say if we don't have any further questions, uh, we can wrap up today's session. Uh, let me first of all thank uh, Kroger for uh, bringing such a wonderful state-of-the-art facility to uh, Clayton County and Forest Park and bringing all these wonderful job opportunities to us. And um, thank you to the uh, WorkSource team for uh, pulling this all together uh, along with Clayton County and Forest Park. Yes. Mm -hmm. Before you close, uh, I had one question just came in, said uh, she's visited the site on the Kroger site, but she don't see any jobs available. I don't know, maybe we need to repeat the URL for the job site. Okay. Uh, Sean, can you uh, provide uh, the URL again or perhaps put it in the chat? There we are. Couldn't find the mute button. Jesus, right. please. Story of my life. Yes. Jobs.kroger.com. And actually, Taniqua just sent over us. Yeah, that's it. So under jobs.kroger.com, you'll see the careers page on the top drop down and you go to Kroger delivery. Also, you can find the job opportunities on Indeed by searching for fulfillment in Forest Park, Georgia. Two ways that we can access those. Hope that helps. Okay, and I, and I have one last, uh, not a question, but a compliment. This is from uh, an attendee. Very, this, this webinar was very informative and said that they will be applying today. Love the direction that the company is going in. And that That's is fantastic. what we like to hear. People applying uh, right away to take advantage of such great opportunities. Okay. All right. Well, I would say, uh, you know, Sean, if you want to make any closing comments or uh, either uh, Larry or Bruce, if you're still with us, if you want to make any closing comments, uh, we still have a little time. Yes, so I would. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, I definitely would. And thank you for that opportunity. I want to thank everybody on the call, like I said, for the opportunity to talk to you today about these um, opportunities that are that are available now and the future opportunities that are going to be coming. I just want to say that Kroger values itself on being a community partner first. Um, we might not have a job for everybody. Um, however, we don't want to give a job to everybody. We just want to give folks the opportunity to feed their future, not only through helping through food insecurity and joblessness, but actually real livable wages, um, opportunities to further your education, and also, if you'd like, the opportunity to stay with this company and grow. It's not about getting a job with Kroger. It's about taking advantage of the opportunities that are going to be provided. Um, so thanks to everybody for your time, respect, and attention today. I know that you don't have to give that to me. You don't even know me, uh, but just know that I'm gracious to receive it. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll stay safe and healthy. Thanks again for the opportunity. Thank you so much, Sean. Great presentation. Larry, you you muted, Larry. You muted. There we go. We're good. Hey, well, 
Uh, once again, thank you guys, uh, our WorkSource Georgia team and the Kroger's team for putting this together. I think this is a, I love this format. It is something I'm looking forward to working with uh, going down the road and just um, best of luck to all those um, other participants in the call and let's take advantage of what Kroger's has to offer. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much, Larry. Bruce? Bruce, you want to give any closing comments? You're unmuted. Very good. I was just going to encourage folks to apply for these jobs and to, uh, we've, we've known the Kroger folks for quite a while. I can tell you they're just good folks. Uh, the jobs they had are, have a career jobs, long lasting jobs that pay well. So, you know, we've all had jobs in our life that weren't long lasting, didn't pay well, and weren't around, you know, particularly nice people. But I, on all that front, Kroger can, uh, Kroger can deliver those things for you. So, so I encourage everybody to apply for these jobs, send your family members to them and your friends. Uh, we'd like to build a, a strong workforce here in, in, uh, in Forest Park and Kroger is helping us do that. So we appreciate Kroger bringing these opportunities to Forest Park. So thank you all. Thank, thank, thank you very much, Bruce. Okay, well, I think that brings us to the conclusion. So uh, again, just to uh, briefly reiterate what others have said, uh, these are great opportunities. Uh, uh, thanks to Kroger for um, bringing these opportunities and sharing them with us today. Um, and uh, we again encourage everybody to go take a look at the Kroger website for um, for the uh, job specifics and apply. So thanks again. And uh, we're going to run our ATL Works uh, uh, recording again, just in case anybody needs to get that information. So uh, Richard, you can go forward with that now. And thank you everybody for participating. Have a great day. Thank you, Richard. Thanks everyone, this is Richard. And I just wanted to to say that the, a recording of this webinar will be posted to our atlworks.org website. So if you missed something at any point, just log on to our www.atlworks.org website and you can watch it from scratch again. Thanks again, everybody. Okay, thank you, Richard. And thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Your dream job is calling. We're here to help you find it. Finding the right job or career can be difficult and stressful. WorkSource is here to make it easy. Our personalized step-by-step -step process provides job seekers like you with the support and resources needed to get a great job. Our career resource centers offer all the equipment you need for things like printing and sharing resumes and cover letters, as well as quiet places to make those important calls. You'll participate in job readiness workshops where you'll learn how to market yourself. An advisor will help guide you to find the right career move. And you'll have support from the entire WorkSource team throughout the whole process. Let's say you're looking for a career as a medical technician. You may need money for training, supplies, and assistance for childcare and transportation. WorkSource is here to help. Or you may want to become a driver. You'll need to learn to drive a big rig and get your commercial driver's license. Georgia has many occupations that need great workers, and WorkSource's dedicated career counselors can help you find the one that's right for you. The bottom line is that our first priority is your success. WorkSource was designed to assess your skills, help with training, and find a job that fits you. All at no cost to you. WorkSource is a federally funded program. WorkSource, the help you need to get the job you want.